Hi guys, I can safely say that until today I have never parked my car with lighting in mind but every single day I come to school and I have to sit here for between 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes depending on how early I am just to be able to get a parking space within walking distance to school. I thought today why not make use of that time. So here we are feeling productive and I'm going to film a what's in my bag because I haven't done that in a really really long time anyway um and I just got a new bag I mentioned this in my haul I think that will have gone up before this video but then you know my internet has been so dire recently god knows how long things are going to take to actually upload I have to be careful not to move around too much because if I like move the car moves and the camera moves you see a little a little wobble there um again you know these are things you just don't think about when you've got a tripod at home so this is the bag it's skinny dip i got it from asos and i think this colorway is exclusive to asos i actually first saw this bag months and months ago cherry healy um who's a tv presenter she posted a picture of it on her instagram and it was a pink one i was obsessed she just said top shop she said she just picked it up from Topshop. I went to Topshop immediately, looked everywhere, wobble wobble, and couldn't find it. So when I saw this on ASOS, I was like, that looks similar to that bag. Realized it was basically the same thing, but a different color. So this is obviously like this mustardy yellow color in a fake leather, and then um, like a faux suede that's kind of a, more like a velvety texture around here. And for me, this is a way more wearable colorway. The pink, I probably wouldn't have got a lot of wear from, whereas this one, let me just move slightly because I feel like I'm constantly wobbling the camera. Um, this one, I feel like I would have got a lot of wear from in the summertime, but it's also a really nice one for autumn, winter as well. So if it is still available, I'll link it for you below. Um, one of the things that totally sold it to me, apart from the fact that it's a really nice size bag, um, was that the strap is either a short one. So this is like a really nice shoulder strap kind of length which is not something that i've got i don't think i've got any other shoulder bags i've got my one um kind of tote but i haven't got anything that would be like a smarter structured shoulder bag and then you can also wear it long and this is long enough to be worn um kind of lower down on your shoulder or to be worn as crossbody which is how i wear bags most of all so very much enjoying this so far i can't tell you that the material feels like leather i think sometimes if you get something that's like black and a really not very nice fake leather kind of look uh it, it matters a little bit more if you've got something colorful then it kind of detracts from the fact that it's not real leather i don't really care about it because it's so funky looking so um, oh, one thing that I would mention so far that I have found is occasionally when it's got a lot of stuff in it, this lifts because it's got um, a press stud, so that's something to bear in mind. I thought I'd be able to fit tons and tons in here, and I can fit a decent amount, but weight will be an issue. So if your stuff is really, really heavy, you may find that when you are carrying the bag, this lifts because the um, strap is actually attached to the flap as opposed to kind of the bag itself so that's just something i wanted to mention just in case that was like a deal breaker for you but for me for the stuff i've got in it today it's not a problem um so the first thing is personal planner people have asked me recently about whether or not i'm still using my own condrum planner whether i'm still bullet journal journaling i'm not um i kind of just i stopped i think it was this year pretty much as soon as the the year rolled around i just stopped using all of those things but i needed a planner of some kind i went back to the personal planner i like the size of this one i like that you can still make it um personal so you can still have a variety of different inserts and things inside different pages you can have different layouts all that stuff can still be personalized and obviously the front cover as well you can choose exactly what you want it to look like so um that definitely is still the one that i would recommend because it's easy to get all over the world and it is much, much cheaper than the Erin Condren one. Um, I do have a little bit of makeup in here, but not a lot. I have the MAC Blot Powder, which is still the one that I would recommend if you are looking for something to touch up on the go. It's very, very fine. There are other ones as well that work, but this one is my favourite one. And I've got the... Um, this is a high fibre... Duo fibre, sorry, not high fibre. That's hilarious. I'm trying to read something. It probably says, I think it says tapered duo fiber blush brush. There are people walking around me, obviously, you know, walking to get their kids from school and they think I'm mental. Um, so not high fiber, not like cereal, a duo fiber brush. And again, I just like this because it gives me a light, a light finish when I'm touching up my makeup. And then I've got the Bobbi Brown crushed lip color in Cabana, which is 
I've just put it alongside the swatches that I was doing from video earlier, like that. I really like these crushed lip colours. I'm not normally into regular lipsticks. I like a matte liquid lip as I'm wearing today. Um, but this is a really nice one to just have in my bag because it kind of does the job of a lipstick and a lip balm. So if I want a little bit of colour, I just swipe it once and like blend it out with my finger. If I want a lot of colour, swipe it a couple of times. But if I haven't got a lip balm with me, this is perfect. So I put those in the little zip compartment. Whatever bag I'm using, I always use a zip compartment for makeup because I don't like it in the rest of my bag. I don't want to carry a separate bag, like a makeup bag. I just have never done that. Um, this is the wallet that I've been carrying since February time, which is when I got it. It's the Louis Vuitton, I think it's called the Emily wallet. Um, again, I have my own issues with this. I may do a video on this. I used to use my second channel, which is Diary of a Spendaholic, to talk about higher priced items, which is probably why I haven't done a what's in my bag over here for a really long time. Um, although I don't think I'd done one for there either. But um, if you guys would be interested, I may start doing some kind of reviews of more expensive items that I've got and whether or not I think they are worth the price. Because with this one, I had heard kind of mixed reviews. Obviously, it's not leather. It's leather inside. The, the lining is leather, but it's a coated canvas. That's what all of these um, patterned Louis Vuitton items that are made of a coated canvas which puts people off obviously because you're not buying a fully leather item and it's really expensive but the thing that has bothered me about this is right on the edges i don't know if you're going to be able to see but there where it's kind of sealed i know there's a word for this and i can't remember what it is but where it's like got that sealing the seal has come away in the edges and now it's just like the, the sides of the canvas and it's getting discolored and worn. Um, because it's less than a year old, I can take it back and I think they will probably do something to it. But yeah, that bothered me almost instantly. This little pink button on the front, which is a little leather covered button, became discolored and dirty. Um, but I haven't cleaned it. I'm nervous to, I will, but I haven't. So some of these things may go away with a little, a little careful cleaning, but it, you know, I still love it. I'm glad that I only got something small in the Azor print because I've always loved the Azor print, but I was nervous of it getting really dirty. And I think if I had a big bag in it, I would be a bit of a wreck and probably wouldn't wear it that much. Um, whereas this I use all the time. Uh, it's also like really, really thin and compact and I fit a decent amount of stuff in there. Another thing, I did get it monogrammed um, and the monogramming almost straight away started to wear because of where it was monogrammed. It's kind of just where the cards are. So it wears away on that. So eh. little niggly things, which normally wouldn't be a big deal, but I want to mention them because these are expensive things and you want them to be perfect. Um, so in there, I've got my passport, some cards and probably no cash whatsoever. And the last thing I think that I've got in here are headphones. I've got two sets of headphones. I've no idea how I've managed to get two sets of headphones, but I have. And only one of them will actually fit in my phone because I've got the seven, which has got that stupid thing on the end, which means that you can't use normal headphones. I know you can get adapters, but I never have the adapter with me. Frustrating. Um, I would of course have, oh, it's gone. I would of course have my actual phone, but that's connected to my car right now because we're sitting in the car. I've been listening to the Nashville soundtrack obsessively. Cannot stop listening to the Nashville soundtrack. Um, and I love everything that is, are they called? Lennon and Maisie Stella, you know, the little girls from Nashville. Oh, and the song at the moment that I'm listening to over and over again, much to my children's like irritation, it drives them crazy that I'm constantly listening to the same songs, is your best. I will link it below for you to listen to. Love it so much. And it's really inspiring when you're having, um, a tough time or when you're just kind of feeling like you're not doing very well and you could be doing better um that's probably the only way i could put it i would highly recommend you listen to that song if you are someone that likes to listen to songs that you'll feel something from you know like my husband listens to songs just because he likes the sound of them but he doesn't really listen to the words if you are someone especially country fans which I think kind of come, goes hand in hand. But if you're someone that kind of really listens to a song and you're like, yeah, this is how I'm feeling right now, you probably will enjoy that song. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been listening to on the way here. So my phone, I've got a Kate Spade phone case on the back, which I got from TK Maxx. And that is everything that is in my bag. Depending on how long I've carried a bag for, we'll talk about the many, many receipts and coins and dirt and stuff that would be in the bottom of the bag. But this is still relatively new and I've only been carrying it for like, 
a week. So that's why it's still pretty clean inside. Um, for those wondering as well, it has got two little pockets. I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's so black and dark in there. Uh, but it has got two pockets, like a foam pocket, well, a little one and a bigger one. Um, my phone will fit in either of them. And I've got a regular iPhone 7, not the Plus. Um, so yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this like impromptu in-car video. Um, like I said, I'll link the bag if it's still available. I don't know whether it will be. If you want any information about the wallet, if you would like me to do any kind of videos like that, I have got some other items that I feel like I could do some wear and tear um, and was it worth it kind of videos if you'd be into that. But otherwise, that is it. I'm going to finish my Diet Coke and then wander over to pick up the children. Thanks for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.